Thank you very much, sir, for an insightful presentation. With due respect, I invite on the days Shri Harith Shukla, IAS, MD, DICDL, for presentation on Dolera Special Investment Region. Good evening, everyone. Shri Amritlal Meena, sir, Special Secretary, DPIIT, CO and MD of NICDC. Shri Rajendra Ratnu, JS DPIIT. Shri Abhishek Chaudhary, Shri Narendra Bhushanji, Shri Ranga Nayak Sahib, Shri Ashutosh Kanungo, all the representatives and delegates from various trade associations and bodies who have come here to attend this seminar, friends from media, First of all, I would like to thank NICDC for giving us this opportunity to talk about Dholera. Dholera, as we all know, is one of the most ambitious projects which has been taken up by Government of Gujarat with, in association with Government of India. We have already talked about the scale of Dholera. It is uh, 920 square kilometers of area which will be developed over a period of next 20 to 30 years, which means that we will never ever run out of land for development for next 23, 20 to 30 years, whatever your requirement may be. This area in contextual term has already been compared to Singapore. It is almost equal to the entire national capital region of Delhi, which we are talking about. In a state of Gujarat, which has already, which has always been an industry friendly state and always boasts of a very robust infrastructure as far as uh, road connectivity is concerned, port connectivity is concerned, air connectivity is concerned, Gujarat has always planned for infrastructure in advance, has always delivered on infrastructure. As we all know, a majority of Delhi-Mumbai freight corridor falls in the state of Gujarat. Besides rail connectivity, port connectivity, air connectivity, we are also one of the states which have been successful in giving digital connectivity in terms of optical fiber being has uh, been laid out in almost entire state in every village of Gujarat. It is one of the few states which have which can boast of a, a pipeline grid gas supply and water supply grid across the state. And that is why Gujarat contributes almost 17.4% of India's industrial output, 12.09% of the total renewable power capacity installed in India, and 11% of India's manufacturing units are in Gujarat whereas Gujarat is a population and area of roughly 6 to 5 percent of the India. Gujarat has been one of the consistent performers across the sectors. It has ranked number one in logistic performance index, lead index 2021. It has ranked number one in good governance index uh, 2021. It is one of the only state which has an operational PCPIR, which has attracted more than 27 billion of investment. As I said, it is one of the few states to have a fully functional statewide natural gas and water supply grid, 100% electrification and world-class road and rail infrastructure. It has also been ranked number one in Export Preparedness Index 2021 and has been ranked as the best, performance in all, best performer in all the state startup rankings by DPIAT in year 2018 and 2019s. Gujarat has been consistently attracting majority of foreign direct investment in this country and also the majority of the number of industrial projects which are announced in, the, in, in this country. It is because of uh, consistent performance and always delivering on our promises. Uh, we have a very uh, lucrative, very attractive industrial policy 2020, which I'll talk about in detail and also sector-wise policies related to aerospace and defense, MSME, plastic industries, electronic uh, manufacturing clusters, labor int intensive industries for industrial park and for logistic parks. DICDL also, Dholera SIR also has a land allotment policy which gives a discount of 50% on the land rates for the early investors. Uh, for roughly 30% of the land, we are offering 50% of discount on the land. And land can also be uh, allotted for the cluster and the park development in the SIR region. As we all know that uh, Dholera is one of the eight nodes being developed by DMIC in phase one and it is one of the biggest 
node uh, covering an area of 920 square kilometers. If you look at the location of Dholera, it is uh, in between Ahmedabad and Bhavnagar. A six lane expressway is being built from Ahmedabad specially for Dholera and because of that the distance of Dholera from Ahmedabad would be roughly 1 hour, 1 hour, 10 minutes. The next international airport of Ahmedabad is coming just next to Dholera. The nearest port is Pipawa port and another port is being developed in Bhavnagar uh, which is also uh, very near to 30 to 40 kilometers from Dholera. Uh, we have also acquired land uh, along with the expressway for the metro connectivity and at an appropriate time high speed rail connectivity will also be provided for Dholera. As uh, has already been mentioned that it has largest footprint uh, in terms of a new city, in, uh, Greenfield uh, smart city being developed in India. I'll just talk about uh, various projects uh, at a glance which are being uh, done in the Dholera SIR region. As I said, the Dholera International Airport uh, with two runways with approximate uh, length of 4000 meters uh, are being done uh, that it is the next international airport of Ahmedabad which is coming just next to Dholera SIR. The land, all the land is in position, the tender has been done and it has sent for approval for the, for the central government. Uh, so uh, we hope that the work on ground will be starting very soon, most probably after this monsoon. Uh, Ahmedabad Dholera 6 lane expressway is already uh, being built on the ground and is likely to be completed by December 23. Uh, MRTS uh, as I said that uh, the, along with the expressway we have already acquired the land for MRTS, uh, the right of way is in our possession and at an appropriate time we will be doing that. Uh, out of this entire area of 920 square kilometers, right now we are developing what we call as an activation area which is roughly 22.54 square kilometers in which 50% of the land is industrial, 28% is residential and as is in other cities it, uh, the services are at the plot level. We also have a uh, lot of area which is in CRZ, uh, more than uh, 400 square kilometers of area in which we have got environment clearance for a solar park. Uh, as of now, a 4,400 megawatt solar park is also being developed out of which 300 megawatt has already been commissioned by Tata Power. We are also in process of developing a multimodal transport hub. We are developing Vimna Dolera free light connecting to DFC. So the tender for this uh, project has also been uh, done. So through this uh, last link, we will be connecting to Delhi Mumbai freight corridor. Uh, this is uh, uh, from Bhimnath, which is from the, the last station of Western Railway and Dolera is the last missing link which we are doing. I think I will not talk about it, but uh, the plug and play infrastructure is common to all the uh, nodes uh, in NICDC. Uh, so this is uh, infrastructure which has been planned for next 30 years, dig free and all the services are at the plot level. What is also unique about uh, Dholera is the plot size and the availability of land. Uh, perhaps Dholera may be the very few places in this country where we can offer uh, land uh, of any size ranging from uh, one point uh, half hectare, 200 hectare or maybe 400, 500 hectares also because we have plot sizes from 0.5 hectares to 150 hectares and after uh, combining the plots we can offer plots up to 400 to 500 hectares also and beyond that also. So this is uh, what is very very unique about Dholera that uh, uh, we have various options of uh, uh, plot size. As I had said earlier roughly 48% of the area is industrial, 28-30% of the area is residential, 15-20% to 20 area is for the green areas. So as uh, this is a city which is being planned for the future, we have already allotted land to, for Tata Chemicals, uh, 126 acre Renew Power, 100 acres for Torrent Power and HPCL. And uh, we are in advance talk with the other agencies, other uh, industries out of which Cheripal, Awada and Polycab have already applied for land. Dholera. So roughly I think uh, we have land application for more than 400 acres as of now. 
This is just to give a picture of uh, what is the exact situation on the ground because we keep talking about Dholera but now Dholera is ready to welcome all its investors. We have seen how this uh, plug and play uh, operates. This is a picture of before closing the uh, basically the roads. Uh, this is how the infrastructure and the various uh, plug and play facilities look like. Uh, various connections which are there available at the plot level. And this is how it looks after the roads are complete. These are actual photographs of Dholera. And we can see the first factory under construction in Dholera, which is the Renew Power factory coming up uh, in Dholera. These are some of the photographs of the big plots which are available in Dholera. This is a sewerage treatment plant which is also nearing completion. Common effluent treatment plant which is also nearing completion. These are the pumping stations. This is our uh, administrative and business center of Dholera which can be used for all the people who put up their plants in Dholera. This building has an auditorium uh, in ABCD building, an experience center, banquet hall, meeting halls. Uh, Torrent Power is uh, the second uh, licensee for uh, Dholera to provide power besides the UGVCL. Torrent also has, uh, holds a distribution license in Dholera and one of the biggest selling point besides the infrastructure and the land is the cheapest land rate, uh, cheapest power tariff uh, which we offer in, in any industrial uh, park in India. Uh, so uh, Torrent Power has the distribution right and they have already made the 66 kV substation functional in Dolera and have also built the four, 400 kV substation uh, in the main activation area. This is also uh, a canal front development photograph. So the, we have used, used the entire mechanism of uh, draining out the water from the city to a central canal which has been developed into a canal front and these are the actual photographs uh, of uh, canal front with lot of gardens and open spaces uh, in Dholera. This is the photograph of the first uh, factory which is coming up in Dholera uh, in a Renew Power construction site. This is uh, uh, 4400 solar uh, park which has been approved in Dholera with all the environment clearance. So one of the attractive things which we are offering to all the investors is if you want to build in Dholera, produce in Dholera, you can have access to green power, you can do your production through solar power. This is one of the big uh, incentives that we are uh, basically offering. Already 3000 megawatt of uh, solar park is functional in Dholera uh, by Tata Power. It is an ideal location for all kind of industries which are non-polluting, it is defense sector whether it is heavy industry, auto ancillaries, solar industries, pharma, electronics, IT, ITS or agro and food based companies. We are now ready with all the infrastructure, we have reached a stage where we are ready to welcome all the investors to Dolera. It is my request to all of you and I extend a very warm invitation to all of you to visit Dolera and see for yourself. It is India's first platinum rated green city. I once again thank the NICDC for giving this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for a remarkable presentation.